Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another Versus video with me, Brad Nelson. I'm joined today by Todd Anderson, and we are gonna be playing Obzon Whip vs. Teamer Midranger, Agro, whatever you wanna call it. It's whatever Kibler wants to call whatever it. Whatever Kibler says. I mean, he's really the only person in the whole world that plays it, so. Except it's his minions. Be good. And it's sad to be his minions good. when he plays green decks. <laughs> Anyway, it's not very nice. I know it isn't, but he's not going to watch us anyway, so he won't hear it. <laughs> but uh, so today we're going to be playing my current version of Obzon uh, Whip versus Teamer. It's one of the toughest matchups for the Obzon deck. We're mostly playing it from my side. Uh, we're just taking Kibler's deck and putting this deck up to the challenge because I do like my version. Um, from the uh, Worlds last week, Yuki Ichikawa had a very similar version to a list that I was working with like five days ago, six days ago, uh, with a bunch of wingmate rocks. If you remember, I sent that while you were in Birmingham, just yeah. like this crazy version with a bunch of wingmate rocks. And I just found them not to be that great. And this is kind of where I've been evolving the deck. So like I have Anna Fenza in the main deck and she has just been phenomenal. Uh, multiple things it does is it's great in the wit mirrors, but uh, it does all these little subtle things. Like it's just a big fatty against a lot of decks. It gets underneath the stainful stroke over anger of the gods. Uh, just all around very good card that is more versatile than I thought it was going to be. And yeah, I mean, it, it's a little awkward on the mana for, uh, like, an Elvish Mystic type deck, you know? Yep. Like, casting on turn two is really difficult unless you have, like, mana confluence or land or waste on turn one. Yeah, I mean, but, I'm not, uh, but it's not there for that. Exactly, but I was going to say, it's it's not, like, it's it's not supposed to be accelerated into. Like, mm -hmm. it's it's just, like, fits right on curve, uh, hits really hard. You know, it's it's really powerful with a Whip of Erebos by just gaining you four plus one life a turn if you're putting a counter on a guy while attacking. So. Yeah, and then uh, the deck also has the two soul Theros that uh, are have been going in and out of the deck. Uh, I don't know where they belong, but right now I'm trying them just to try to be a little bit more aggressive. No, they belong in the graveyard. They do That's belong in the graveyard. <laughs> uh, if you've ever, never had one in play, though, they they, oh, I, they do I, work. I did once. I I quadruple blocked it, and then he pumped, and then I used forgot utter, that, and then I used utter in to kill it after he spent his whole turn doing Ooh, it. Ooh, so. well, that's that's pretty good. But so we're just gonna have to play around that today. Um, I know. <laughs> but anyway, guys, hope you enjoy the video, and we'll see how this version of the uh, Obzon Whip deck handles Teamer. Yep. Alright, I'm on the play here, I won the die roll, and my hand looks pretty good. Uh, I guess <clears throat> if these are the kind of draws you always get with this deck, I can see why Kibler would like it. Oh no, because my, my hand is a cut above the rest, but not in this matchup. <sighs> Don't tell me. Okay, alright. Uh, I'm going to lead off here with a Temple of Abandon, Scry. Uh, this Elvish Mystic is not going to be on curve at all, so we're going to put it on the bottom. Alright, well that's going to help a lot. Actually, and now my sarcasm is is paying off. Go. Okay. All right. Uh, not a terrible draw. I don't know how good it's going to be in this matchup, though. We'll go ahead and play Air of the Wild. Well, I'm just glad that there's no acceleration. Uh, we're going to do this right away because, uh, you know, we didn't want to draw this whip, and you know, results-oriented thinking is <laughs> exactly way you want to play Magic. Yeah. <laughs> whip is so bad in this matchup. It's not that bad. I know, I was joking. Okay. It's so insane in this matchup. It's not that good either. I, I don't know. I mean, When I'm on the draw, it's not. It, 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 it maybe never on the draw, it's not great, but. Right. Go. All right. Oh, take one. Savage you. I will go to seven, 16, and you are at Trigger. 17. Or 19. Oh, yeah, 19 to 16. All right. Here we go. All right, let's get lucky. <laughs> Not unlucky. Oh, wow. Pass turn? Pass turn? Oh. All right, fine. That is gross. <laughs> Go. Ruh -ruh. Man, a land would have been great there. Would it have been? <laughs> oh, I'm would, talking about would me. a land would have been great there? I'm talking about for me, though. <laughs> it was actually both. I was actually just doing it to, to tilt you, but... All right, we'll play another one, go to 18, and I'll battle for three again. Right. Luck. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> the tilt is real. The tilt <laughs> is, in fact, real. Cut it. Okay. Go. 
Why wouldn't you just tap all your mana? Oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah. But to be fair, I've already lost the other cut. There's nothing left. I guess oh, I'll sure. I can leave that. Well, in but I don't way. know yeah. that you only have three. That's true. So I can leave the Wade Finder in. All right. Well, I'll play an Ash called Phoenix, and I'll take one damage down to seventeen, and hit you for three down to thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, look at that! A land. Weird. Uh, I'll take one, but then gain. Okay, so you go to fifteen. Yeah. I go to fourteen. Your turn. Take for seven. I'm at eight. I will play a morph. Yes, here we go. That's actually really bad for me. Because now we can no longer. Play around. Alright, attack you. Ten. Sure. Ow. I have you at. Oh, yeah, ten. All right, I'm gonna. I'm going to take a total of two and gain one. Wait, yeah. So nine to seven. So nine to seven, and I'm going to hope that you don't have your burn spell, but I know oh, you I do. Oh, I do. Oh god, I, I do. It's do. so good. I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna. You're not gonna flip it over. I will. Is it an ash cloud? Oh. Yeah, I had seven dial was... up. Okay. I thought it was going to be a rattle claw to uh, to pump your burn spell even bigger. Nah. All right. Well, this is a, one of those awkward hands where I don't think I'm supposed to mulligan it, but it's not good. Well, matchup dependent, this hand is really bad because these lightning strikes, or this lightning strike is really grossly bad, but yeah. Trigger. I think Keep. All right. We'll scry and try to find a two drop. Another land, we don't need that. Three toughness yeah. creature. Weird that he always has that. It's well, I th kept this hand. It's not that weird. Just for the fact that I had it. <laughs> uh, 21. Or actually, I should just save that. I'm going to keep the courser, which I am. I'll go to 21. Okay. Your turn. All right, well, this Frontier Bivouac, or however you say that, is basically a dead card now because we drew another land, so I'm going to play a Knuckle Blade and battle for three. All right, I will go to 18, and you're at... Yeah, I take one down to 19. Down to 18, right? Yeah, sorry, 18. All right, draw a Courser, reveal Elvish Mystic. Now, that is a card that I could put on the bottom, but... Ah, uh, this is gross. It's just such a bad card. Yeah, I, d I don't think I can draw that. Unless I'm gonna, unless I'm gonna try to make this a, I could try to make this game a hope to find a Hornet Queen game. But we'd have to find it next turn. But the Elvish Mystic's not good, especially in a double Courser draw. But I don't think I want him to untap with that much pressure. This is a tough one. I don't got any decisions. It's just play guys and attack, basically. I can see why this is appealing. 19. Kill your guy, attack for two. Yep. Your turn. 16 to 19? Yep. Well, that was an interesting draw. Alright, I'm going to go to 15. Mountain. Play another Ash Club? I'm going to play something. I'm not sure which yet. And I'm going to hit you for three, but. <laughs> I got two options that are. Oh, Pulikronos or Ash Club? Yeah. I think since I know you're going to draw this and have this, it'll probably just be Ash Cloud because you can come up the board pretty easy. All right, so I'm at 16 to 15? Yep. All right, draw, reveal. Mm. Fuck. 
Yep. Trigger bottom. Yes, yeah, so you're 18. Reveal. Ugh. Yes. Maybe I should have kept that, tried to find a soul, but I can't even cast it because my mana is real bad. Well, you have one white, and you could hit a soul and a white source off yeah. of the wayfinder, but. Results oriented. So I'm at 18. I'll attack. Mm, I block. Sure. Morph. And I will go to. 17 and play that. Where's the morph token? We find me a morph token real quick. It's fine. They know what morphs are. <laughs> All right, fine. We don't need a morph token. All right. I think morph tokens are stupid. I will play a plea for no and attack. I will take three and go to 14. Have you? You were at 18, right? But I took a pain to play the elf. Oh, sorry. Okay. 14 to 15. I guess I didn't need to. I'm done. <laughs> you can win this game. <laughs> I didn't trust spell. <laughs> that a relevant one. Oh, there's my morph. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, from my side, uh, we're going to want a little bit more removal to deal with some of the bigger creatures, but one of the most powerful removal spells in this matchup, surprisingly, is Drown and Sorrow. It, it, it allows all my guys to stay alive. That's why I'm taking out the Elvish Mystics. Uh, all my other versions of this deck had zero Mystics. Um, so I'm assuming I just have to sideboard them out in this one. Um, I'm taking out a Commune, a Whip, and a Hornet Queen just for the fact that our real long game isn't where we want to be. We, we want it, but we don't want to be too heavy on it to just like die to the early pressure. Yep. Like you saw, if I'm just not doing anything proactive, um, I'm not going to win the game. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> on this side, Lightning Strike doesn't really kill anything, so we're getting rid of that. Uh, Stubborn Denial uh, is okay in this matchup, but it's it's not fantastic. Like, it uh, I have to tap out a bunch to like hit my curve, and I and a since lot this is my like, things are also guys too. Yeah, and 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 a, a Braz deck is primarily creature based, even though he does have Murderous Cut and Whip and Commune. I think that Stubborn is just doesn't have enough targets. Uh, Disable Stroke, on the other hand, uh, will have a bunch of different things that it can hit. So. Uh, we're not going to bring in the full three. We're just going to bring in two uh, because I can't afford to get flooded in this matchup with reactive things. But I do want a couple as uh, on like turn four or five where I have already have like a, a guy or two in play and I get to counter his big thing. Uh, spe specifically Hornet Queen and Whip. And then uh, two Hunt the Hunter to gain a big tempo boost against his Coursers and uh, maybe his Inoffensive since we know he has that now. And then uh, two Reclamation Sages against uh, Whip itself. All right, so this hand is... Uh, a much more aggressive one. Uh, hopefully we can find a thir third land though for our Rhino, but other than that, I think the hand's good. Yeah, my hand's great. Just go. The Ghoulie DI gas nut. Ooh, I actually saw the top card. Hold on. Hold on. If you saw it, I just... Hold yeah, on. okay. Well, I'm just gonna, so you know. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna shuffle that. I'm gonna put this on bottom though. Okay. My hand is already flush with twos. Here we go. All right. Your turn. Interesting. Go. All right, we'll take a pain and play right now. Sure. Right. Your turn. 17 to... Uh, 22 20 to 17. Okay. All right, so we don't have a big guy to play here. So we'll just offer a trade, which he will decline. I am yeah, positive. Okay. Play another one, and I'll play a Frontier Boo-Wook. 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 Interesting. All right, well, let's get lucky. For once, playing this deck. All right, we just need a, a land. I just wanted a land. <laughs> <laughs> um, block. Sure, take two. Yeah, I'll take one. Play an Anafenza. 15 to 19? Yep. All right. So that's not going to do anything right now. I'm going to fetch Phoenix Tech for three. Okay. I will go to 16, 14 and 14. you're 16. Yeah. I'm going to get a forced. I'm at 14, right? Yeah, 14 to 16. Okay. Okay. I'll Trigger. Take six. Maybe I should have attacked. All right. I'm at eight. You're at 16. Yep. 
And then I'm, I've got a temple sure. scry. It's kind of an interesting one because it guarantees us to play both our things, and I think that's a great place to be, so I'm going to keep it. Perfect. Phoenix. Sorry. Attack sure. three. You're going to keep attacking. Yeah, 13. Yeah. Post. Is that good? That is pretty good. All right. Here. That is gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right, attack you. I'll go to six. A little dangerous. So. Three. Three to 16. Man, that's pretty good. Yep. Maybe he's almost out of gas. Well, I kept on top and played a land this turn, okay, so I... I <laughs> man, I'm not saying anything. All right, I'm going to go to two. Uh, I'm going to play an Air of the Wilds and Craters Call this guy. Kill that response. Okay, we're dead. Well, you can triple block. I'm at two. Oh, yeah, you'd have to block there, and that'll stay alive. Yep. And I was ripping a rhino. So on the draw, um, Thoughtsies is a little bit better, and the Doomwake Giants don't come down in time to actually do enough damage to the board. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to be cutting these Doomwake Giants and bringing in Thought Seizes. Sure. All right, I'm on the play here for game four, and my hand is a little damaging, but it's pretty decent, I think. Right. Uh, I think this hand could be good or bad, but it's draw dependent. I would not be happy about having this hand if this was a tournament right. for my tournament life. 19. So, especially when they do that. That's real bad for us. Scry, trigger, top. I just go. want to turn two knuckle blades so bad. I do not want you to do that. Ah. All right, uh, go. Go? Yeah, go. I, said, oh, I got saver. something that I'm going to play. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I'm just. <laughs> I'm just giving it away. It's hard not. It's impossible not to give it away. I'm not. Yeah. I just don't want to main phase it. Go. All right. Yeah, I'll it took me one. a second. Oh, sure. No, I wasn't meaning that to be insulting. Yeah. I just wait. Couldn't you have just played a knuckle blade? Oh, you don't have. I one. don't have one. That's oh, why okay, I was knocking yeah, the top yeah, of the yeah, deck. Yeah, yeah. I really wanted to play. A yeah, I was so confused because I was like waiting for a tap land, and then you didn't attack me. Yeah. So you took one there. So you're at eighteen. Uh, yeah. Okay. And attack sixteen. Uh, I'll take one and play morph. 17. All right. Go. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the card is really good in this matchup sometimes. Gross. Uh, bottom, temple, top, go. Well, that's just embarrassing. Take another one. 16. Yep. Go. Uh, we will play this tapped and play right now. Your turn. 13 to 19. All right. Take two. You're at 14. 14. And. Go. No hunt the hunter? Nope. All right. Um, uh, downfall. Attack for four, put you at ten, play an offensive. Your turn. Oh, that it? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all. Uh, go. All right. Uh, that was a good draw. Two card attackers. Yep. Attack. Trigger. All right. Uh, walk right now. Do this. Take um, one. Down to nine. All right. After it's equipped, I'll downfall. Yeah, and, and so then I take, take nine. nine and I go to one. Oh, you are. Right. Yeah, I took one. All right, I'm on the play here for the fifth and final game, and my hand's okay, I guess. Hope we draw a land, kind of. Uh, well, if I don't draw a land, the game is over. Can't win. Drew it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. We're actually just gonna go to seventeen and see what happens. Uh, we might be able to disrupt his mana, which we did. So we'll take the Rattleclaw. 
And we have a mountain. Yeah, my hand got bad Timberland, real fast. Hunt, sage, and ash. All right, your turn. Bivouk. Here you go. Uh, tap line, go. Go. Yeah, because he has sage, we're not going to want to uh, just play into it. Uh, maybe we do, actually. I think we do play into the sage, so we're going to go to 16. 16 and play a Courser. Oh, yeah. play this guy. oh, no! Yeah, it was, it was not bad. Oh, that's gross. Actually, we have the Hunt the Hunter, so I don't really want to Reclamation Sage. We can also... Well, we can do a number of things. Really... Hmm. This is tough. Yeah, because by me knowing that he has Sage and, and actually that. playing this... Yeah, I know. That pretty much just means that I have something else that, that is... Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, I mean you, you get to look at that. Would that have changed something? I don't know. I mean, now you're gonna have cut the whole game. Up. Yeah, let's let's back up because I have hunt the hunter, and I probably just need to use that instead. I think. No, you're gonna be tapping out. I'm sorry. All right, it might have changed something. I just need to think. So. Okay. All right, you're up. You're at twelve. I'm at thirteen. No. No. Yeah. Twelve. Okay. Twelve to twenty. Uh, I guess that we can give him the ability to two for one us, unless he has the fireball, which would not be good for us. But what can we do? We'll take one and gain three and gain two total, so fourteen to seventeen. And your turn. Cards. Two forwarding ourselves seems real stupid. What would you say? The two forwarding ourselves seems real stupid. It's not really tempo boost. Yeah. It's like the ag exact opposite of what Hunt Hunter's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll just play this morph and lose to Drown and Sorrow. Go. If I had it, I'd cast it. I don't have it. Okay. Maybe the set of Wayfinder will find it for me, though. I mean, I don't think that's how that works, but, you know. Whip. Well, we're not playing whips this game. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if that is a rattle claw that, uh, so we have to actually think here. Now, if that's a rattle claw that could get him, this could be a sandbag way of getting himself to actually play in the Ash Club Phoenix, but at the same time, it could just be um, uh, the Ash Club. The Ash Cloud. So, what we're going to do is tap two, murders cut it, exiling three. Yep. And that just lets us play uh, a much safer game. And I don't think we want to get aggressive here. Maybe we do. Yeah, I'm going to attack. You have four cards in the yard now? Yep. That's disgusting. You left a black open instead of tapping an extra one. So I did. <laughs> All right, we'll take four. All right. I'll just kill it now. The boon the boon yeah. yeah. All right, so thirteen to fourteen, and yeah. then I know you're thirteen like, yeah. to thirteen. Yeah. All right, your turn. And we just did that just so uh, he couldn't hold up stubborn denial or disdainful stroke it. We don't get to play around a lot by holding up murderous cut as opposed to other removal spells. Yep. Go. Yeah, we'll just play that. And vanish in like this. And I'll attack with both guys. Take five, I'm at eight. Get one card in. Yeah. Your turn. Oh man, that's probably a downfall. 
I don't think I can play around it though. Five, six. All right, I'll play a knuckle blade and give it haste and take one at minute seven. Take for six. Yeah. Oh, kill it. I take two though. So yeah. eleven to nine. Man. Nine to seven. Yep. Yeah. Put you at two. Yep. And I'll play a. A land? Tap land. Jeez. What? <laughs> I drew land. I was just messing with uh -oh. that. I drew a land the last two turns. I know. Oh man, I can't even play Boon Seder and Hunt the Hunter. Oh wow, yeah. But I can double block it, take one, two. I'm dead if I do that. I can Hunt the Hunter and Siege Rhino. Or in Craters Call Your Siege Rhino. <laughs> I think I have to do that. That's just the grossest thing ever. Oh, oh yeah. Alright, I will take seven. Uh, you're at seven? It's only for two. Yeah, I'm in seven. You were at nine? I was at 13, and then I took two and two somehow. Doctor, oh, what do you got? No, I took two from this and two from my hero's downfall. Yep. Okay. I was at 13, went to 11. So he's at 9? By casting this. He's at 11. I'm at 7. He's at 7 now. He's at 7 now? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Alright, second main. Oh, wow. Wait, yeah, you could have dealt. Oh, you're one land short of killing me? Wow. Because I was at 9? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, no, I guess. Oh, yeah, I'm you're one, one short, short of killing me. No, yeah. I'm not because it pumps the crater's claw. You're, no, 4, 5, you're six, nine, seven, eight, so nine. this is 4, 5, 6. No, you're seven, one eight. short. I am one short. Man. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Wait, before, before, <laughs> during your upkeep. <laughs> we, we probably missed a point somewhere. All right, so you're at seven. Hunt this. Critter's Claw it. Okay. You know what you want from me, man. Yeah, it's fine. You're at eight. eight. I'm at one. Your turn. We need to draw a land that doesn't deal this damage that comes into play untapped. And you can play two spells. Go. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Uh, yeah, you're gonna block. I'm gonna scry, gain a life, bottom this, and say go. So I'm at nine. You're up. All right. Reveal. That's not that good. I'm blocked. Ten. Yeah, and you block. Here you go. Or I'm at eleven. Fetch. Uh, in response. I'll go to 10. I'm sorry, I paid a life. Oh yeah, I can't respond to pay life. Well, that's usually how this matchup goes, where, you know, gr you know, Teamer will win the first two games of the match, and then, then Obzon will come back and win the next three. That's how, that's how every match plays out at FNM that I've seen. I don't know. Oh, I see, because, hey, you want to keep playing? It's a joke, yeah. yeah, because, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, I, this matchup is really volatile. Um, oh, I, I forgot you had Chandra's and Shadow. That card's usually good in the matchup. Oh, I don't know how Cyborg is deck. It's all right. <laughs> that card is good, though, because it just stops me from blocking and just gives you a lot of advantages. I don't feel like you blocked very much in that match. No. Like, you only had the opportunity to block, like... Twice? Yeah. I mean, no. aside, I mean you could have blocked my Death Touch guy, but, like... You're not gonna do that. I mean, you gotta embrace the aggression that Teamer brings. Like, you just yeah. have you're you're on their turf. Like, <laughs> you do not have home field <laughs> advantage in this matchup at all. Yeah. Like, you have to be aggressive <laughs> and make sure that their fireballs and their haste and their bestow don't kill you. Yep. Rhinos are meant to attack every turn of Able. But um, yeah, I I want to keep working on this deck. Th this matchup doesn't really show the whip. Like, we did not have a whip in play at all. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, did not have a whip in play at all in any of our games. All right, we got to run five more games back until Brad draws a whip. Nah. Nah. They get it. <laughs> They've seen it before. Yeah, I mean, well, like, your deck is kind of like an anemic uh, Abzan deck, yep. like, after sideboard a lot of times because you just end up having all this removal, and the whips are kind of just this secondary thing that yep. uh, you don't really rely on. I mean, in this matchup, particularly, like, Siege Rhino is just great. Right? Yeah, uh, you know, he gets outclassed sometimes by Pelucranos, but you can get around that pretty easily with all your removal. And like, I can't, I don't even have the ability to rely on Air of the Wilds like I normally do because you have Drown Sorrow. So yeah, yeah. I mean this the, this version of Obzon has def definitely been, uh, you know, bratified, which is uh, it just 
you know, has a game plan in game one that's a based around whip, and then I want to become a pretty bad Obzon deck after sideboard, but good in every matchup. Why don't you? What, why isn't your sideboard just fifteen good Abzan cards, and then you? Uh, they are can just side into it. They're just the removals. Well. <laughs> it's like so so the whole idea is like Obzon Midrange has all these top end planeswalkers, but they're not that good right now. And so after sideboard, when I add some removals, some thought seizes, maybe some planeswalkers, and even the the third Anafenza, um, I become a very low to the ground uh Obzon deck with good removal spells with a top end that's just whip to gain life or value whip. But no, I'm not hard on the combo. And that really helps out because Anafenza does a lot of sweet things. Like I said, it gets over Anger of the Gods and under Disdainful Stroke and a lot of these matchups where that's what they're going to use to fight your yeah. your bees. Uh, real quick, one last thing. Uh, I definitely sideboarded poorly. After game one, after seeing all the heroes' downfalls and banishing lights and things, I think I definitely should have brought Severn and Isle back in because mm -hmm. Brad's deck kind of... Uh, molded after sideboard to be something that it was not in game one, and that wasn't something that I took into consideration, and I just kind of overlooked it and was, uh, yeah. But that, that's really important You that if you get to game three in a match and your opponent's deck in game two is significantly different than it was in game one, reevaluating how you sideboard is key. And that's one reason why I hate sideboard guides, just hate yep. them, because a good player will have a very fluid sideboard and they can... Uh, you know, go back and forth and, and basically be playing two different decks against you at any I given mean, time. I mean, the reason that I top eight Grand Prix is because my opponents have cyborg guides. And my decks are designed to attack those guides. Yeah. And, like, for example, like, you know how, like, Mardu came out? It had an anti-control sideboard, but on the play, oftentimes, I was, you know, I was preaching Rabblem because you have a good chance of Rabblem in game one, but the reason that I have the sideboard is because Rabble can't beat people on the draw, so I have a different game plan. Well, now, whenever I play against a Mardu deck, I just prepare for aggro when I'm on the draw and prepare for control when I'm on the play. And I just have my deck be wildly different to where, like, if somebody actually committed, they might get me. Yeah. But, like, they're not going to. So, like, after sideboard, when I'm on the play, I have nothing to fight a Rabble Master as long as... But, to be fair, if I get creatures on the board, that beats it anyway. Yeah. But uh, on the draw, I have all my Drown and Sorrows, all my, you know, stuff in because everyone does it. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, now I'm know. just going to have to ask every opponent if they're a versus video fan before we play, and then if they're Mardo, then I'll know. Now I have to get on that level. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for uh, stopping by. I'm just here to steal Todd's thunder. I'm Brad Nelson. I'm joined by Todd Anderson. Or what's the saying? Something about, you know, for Todd Anderson. I'm, I'm Brad, Brad Nelson. Nelson. Good night. God bless. Peace. Peace.